Hello everyone and welcome back to our DAX for Beginners series. My name is Brad and in today's video we'll be diving into some text functions that allow us to manipulate and transform our text data. The concatenate, left, right, mid, upper, lower, and LEN functions can help us clean up our reports, create custom labels, and display data in a more meaningful way. All right, let's take a look. The first function we'll tackle today will be concatenate. For the Excel uninitiated, concatenate is pretty straightforward. It allows us to join two text values together. If we head back to our financials data table, we can see that we've got a couple fields here that are uh, full of text values, so segment, country, and product. And let's use the concatenate function to join the text in country and product together in a new column. We can call our new column simply country product, and then we'll call concatenate. So IntelliSense here is asking us to reference the two fields that we want to combine. So our first field will be country, and second one will be product. And we can see that we have our new column here with country and product uh, concatenated together. Now this did what we wanted the function to do, but I'm not too crazy about these text values that are kind of mashed up against each other. So if we want to modify these and maybe add some space, um, we can do that actually without even calling concatenate. So uh, one way we can do that is modify this and we can simply just call country and then we'll add an ampersand, open up quotes, maybe leave a space, a hyphen, another space, close our quotes, another ampersand, and then call our second field, which will be product. So what this is doing is um, similar to concatenate, but instead of having our values kind of mashed together, um, the ampersand is going to add uh, what I have in between the quotes here between the two fields. So we'll have country, space, hyphen, space, and then product. So let's see what this looks like. There we go. So I think that looks a lot better. Next up, let's look at left, right, and mid. And these are really straightforward in that they allow us to extract characters from the beginning, end, and middle of a text value. Now, these can be helpful if the native data set has some extraneous characters and you don't have the access or ability to modify before they reach your report. As an example, let's say we want to pull in the first three characters of the product column here. We can call our column something like left product, and then call our left function. Product is the field that we're interested in. And then the number of characters that we want to pull, we can just say three. And now we have the first three characters for each of our product values. Similarly, we can grab the last characters of a text value by using the right function. So we'll call this right product, right function, Now we can see that we have the last three characters of our product. Finally, mid is actually going to allow us to pull in characters from the middle of a text value. Uh, this function's a little different and I'll show you how. So we call mid and we'll reference product. And now IntelliSense is asking us for our start position and the number of characters. As you can probably guess, start position refers to the position of the first character we would like pulled in. So if we enter a three here, uh, the formula is going to start at the third character or the third position um, that we'd like pulled in. 
number of characters is simply the number of characters that we want pulled in. So we'll just enter in maybe a two here and we'll see what this does. All right, so we can see that uh, for most of these, we have uh, two characters that are found in the middle of our, or rather at the third character position of our product column. But you'll notice some of these have only one um, character. So for VTT, uh, the reason why we're only pulling in one character here is that we told the formula that we wanted it to start at the third position. Uh, so it, uh, for these values here, we didn't have anything after the final T to pull in. Um, so we just get this single character here. The upper and lower functions allow us to convert all of the text to uppercase or lowercase. To show you, let's go ahead and create a column. And we'll just call this upper product. Call the upper function and reference product. All right now we can see that all of the product values here are in uppercase. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for lower. And all of our values now are in lowercase. And finally, the len function, len is short for length, will return the number of characters in a text string. Let's create a new column and we'll count and return the length of the characters in our country field. So one thing I'll point out here is that this function will count spaces between words or letters when it evaluates its result. So the number four, for example, United States of America is going to include the three spaces between the words. All right, to quickly recap, we covered the concatenate, left, right, mid, upper, lower, and len functions today to show you how we can work with string values in our data set. These can really come in handy if you're not receiving the text data in a format you'd like and you don't have the access or the ability to make changes to the data source. We'll go ahead and stop there for now, but if you have any questions about this content or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos, and thanks for watching.